Well, first, you're right to point out that the copyright relationship to AI was really not core to the initial proposal. Uh, it crept in. <laughs> uh, that all changed at the 11th hour uh, with the introduction of uh, Article 28B, Paragraph 4. Um, it looks like this provision is here to stay. Uh, I don't think it's going to be taken out of the Act. So, um, yeah, it's important that we, we take a closer look at it. Um, first, I guess, regarding transparency and that provision, um, I want to say that we, we fully support transparency in principle. So, uh, in our view, it's really in the public interest to have general transparency obligation because that will help build trust. It will help build understanding of AI system. And hopefully it will, you know, foster wider adoption for the common good. But as currently worded, um, that obligation, so under it's paragraph C, so 28D 4C, uh, to, uh, I, and I quote, document and make publicly available a sufficiently detailed summary of the use of training data protected under copyright is ambig ambiguous. And um, we will need to interpret that in a way that is practical. So in other words, we need to find a way to achieve the AI acts um, aim to really increase trans transparency, but without placing an undue and an unreasonable burden on AI developers. So will a simple reference to a data set be sufficient? Maybe, I will probably need to, uh, to follow the Trilog discussions to, to find more. Um, from CC's perspective, generally, we think that this obligation should not be limited to copyright works. So it should extend to all training materials, again, because we see transparency as core to building trustworthy systems.